Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I'm going to start uh, reviewing some brand new sauces from one of my favorite companies, and that's NW Elixirs, based out in Portland, Oregon. Now, Chef Andrew Garrett uh, just really uh, makes some awesome hot sauces. I reviewed uh, all of them on my channel in the past, uh, so make sure you check those out if you haven't seen those already. But I'm going to uh, be reviewing one of his newer ones. Now, this is the Baja Hot. And this is one of his 2015 vintage uh, limited edition uh, hot sauces that we'll get into here in just a little bit. But um, he's got some incredible uh, flavor profiles. He's got uh, number one, which is his regular hot sauce. He's got number two, which is the Verde Hot. He's got number three, the Hot Smoke. Number four, the Bangkok Hot. And number five, the Hot Jalokia. Now there's a picture of uh, Chef Andrew Garrett right there. Uh, with a couple of his uh, World Hot Sauce Awards. And uh, he really is thinking outside the box, and that's really what I, uh, I love. You know, he's taking hot sauce making to a whole new level because he has recently uh, partnered with uh, Bull Run Distillery, the uh, Bull Run Distilling Company right there in Portland, Oregon, and he is using some of their barrels. He's using a bourbon barrel. He's using a uh, rum a barrel and also an aquavit barrel to uh, age uh, some of his new these new 2015 uh, vintage hot sauces. Now there's a picture of him right there uh, with those barrels at the uh, Bull Run Distillery. But let's go ahead and get into this first one here. Uh, this is the Baja Hot. Now this is made with uh, Scotch bonnet peppers. Uh, let me go ahead and read the uh, listing of ingredients here. It's a combination of uh, Distilled vinegar, uh, yellow scotch bonnet uh, peppers, red bell peppers, onions, garlic, carrots, sea salt, and spices. Now they're saying is the absolute embodiment of food. Now just check out this one. Um, I believe this is aged. These new uh, 2015 vintage uh, hot sauces are aged for uh, over a month in these barrels. And so it's going to really give it a unique flavor, I think. Uh, and with this one, it, it really does. The aroma on this one is just uh, amazing. It's got a nice, bright aroma to it. And I believe there's cumin in here because you can really smell the cumin. This is kind of Latin-inspired or Hispanic-inspired uh, because it's got those type of seasonings in here or spices in here. You get a nice, bright, um, slightly... Uh, tart citrus aroma but you can really smell some savory notes coming from the the onions and the garlic and especially the cumin now with latin spices or hispanic spices there could possibly also be some coriander in here or maybe paprika it looks like maybe there's some black pepper in here as well but i think really cumin is really coming through and um, this one is one that is aged in a uh, bourbon a barrel, so I think you can really. I noticed something unique about it, something slightly smoky, maybe coming from the oak uh, barrel uh, that you know, the bourbon barrel. Uh, something also kind of slightly sweet about it as well, that is really just awesome. But that savory cumin is just really coming through nicely. Well, let's go ahead and show you what this one looks like, and then I'll show you how I use this one. It's got a good consistency to it. It's not too thick, not too thin, but it is a little bit more on the thinner side. Here we go. Mm. Wow. Nice, bright, tart. You get the cumin. You get the savory notes from the onion, the garlic, a little bit from the carrot. You get a little bit of that spiciness from the scotch bonnet peppers. It's not overly hot. It's not overly spicy at all. Not too vinegary. It's certainly not too salty at all. But just an awesome aroma, awesome flavor coming from out. What I believe the aged in that bourbon barrel did it. Just kind of some slightly smoky, not, not too smoky at all, but just slightly smoky. And some kind of unique sweetness that maybe is possibly be coming from the, the bourbon barrel where you're going to pick up on things maybe like um, vanilla or honey. Just slightly, but there's something really unique about it. And I think aging the hot sauce in that bourbon barrel really... Uh, takes these sauces to a new level. So let me show you what I did with this one, guys. Since this one is the Baja Hot, I decided to make some uh, fish tacos, some cod uh, tacos, and it was just amazing. Just poured this on there. Uh, really, really good. This is some highly recommended uh, sauces from, 
Uh, so for this one, I'm going to give a strong 9 out of 10 on the Baja Hot. Just love it. Great flavor on this one. And on heat, I was kind of thinking three to four category. I think I'll go with a four. Um, you know, it does kind of give you a nice warm glow from the Scotch Bonnet Peppers, but uh, I think that's about appropriate on my one to 10 scale. But Andrew, awesome job. Stay tuned, guys, for lots more reviews for uh, NW Elixirs. I'll be reviewing about three more of their newer sauces, including a relaunch of uh, number five, the uh, Hot Jalokia that was aged in a rum barrel, I believe. So uh, stay tuned for that. But check this company out. Give them a like on Facebook. Check out my earlier reviews if you haven't seen those. Just some amazing products. And the website simply is nwelixirs.com. Link will be down in the description. Thanks, Andrew, for sending it. I do appreciate it. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more reviews. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.